www.catholicdiocese.org. And Oscar Solis is the new bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Salt Lake City installed earlier this year. He's the first Filipino American to be consecrated as a bishop in the church. Shauna Lake sat down with him in tonight's Person to Person. Bishop Solis tells me he was surprised and even intimidated about his new post in Utah, but he is doing what he loves and knows God has a plan for him. You say it was it was a curveball that you weren't expecting, and you asked yourself, "Why me? Why me? What did what did I do wrong?" <laughs> and now that you've been here, what do you think the answer to that question is? My life has been an openness to God's design, God's providence, and so uh, it's nothing new anymore. It's just like you know, the human element in me. For heaven's sake, why me? Mm -hmm. You know. What has it been like to be in Utah? Uh, I never expected this kind of uh, wonderful ride. You know, I'm enjoying my ministry. I enjoy meeting people, uh, visiting the beautiful sights, scenes, you know, beautiful nature of Utah. You're the first Filipino uh, a bishop, like bishop, bishop yeah. ever uh, in the church. My culture is secondary. I am not embarrassed to let people know that I'm a Filipino. I'm an immigrant in the United States. I came here in 1984, but I felt at home wherever I am. When was it that you knew that you wanted to do this? At an early age, I was associated with the church as an altar boy until some priests and my mom instilled in me the idea of becoming a priest. And uh, I worked along with it, knowing that it's fun, you know. I'm an adventurous guy, so I entered the seminary at the tender age of 11 years old. Wow. That's first year high school, graduated in the seminary with a degree in uh, Bachelor of Arts major in philosophy. Mm -hmm. and then I took a break. You know, I took a break. Why? I was like a young man, you know, just don't know whether this is my life. Mm -hmm. I would like to try the world outside. And my mom was a little bit surprised, you know, mm -hmm. and felt sad about it. And she was teary eyed. She said, Why? I said, Well, you know, I just don't know. I said, well, the greatest gift that you can give me as your mother is to have a priest son. So I told my mom, So, Mom, you do not understand. I said, I want to have a priest son myself. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so, stop that foolishness. You know? But God, in some mysterious way, has really done something to order to keep my mind questioning. And until I found and discovered that I'm happier inside the seminary. Do you feel the ground moving? <laughs> or is it my knees? What are some things that would surprise people about you? What do you like to do for fun? I think the people are surprised that we are human beings. Mm -hmm. You know that, like anybody else, I cook, I work, I like to play golf like anybody else. My passion for golf is such that some people have to work for food. Mm -hmm. I say mass for golf. <laughs> You know, so if they want me to, if they want me to celebrate Mass, so that we can play golf later, and oh, okay, okay. What message would you have for us this holiday season? Christmas historically is about the birth of our Savior, and we realize that by putting ourselves in a certain mode of silent prayer and reflection, to recognize the presence of God in our hearts and in our surrounding. But when you got distracted by the material things, you push God away. You become indifferent to the presence of God. And so your happiness is only fleeting and it's passing. And for more with Bishop Solis, go to KUTV.com, click on the features, then person to person. Person to person is brought to you by Rocky Mountain Chef.